Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. This lecture we will primarily concentrate on pairwise comparisons, pairwise comparisons. So, last class uh, we ended with test of assumptions, test of assumptions mean normality test, homoscedasticity test, independence and identically distributed test. So, I will quickly go through now on the residual plots, residual plots and then we will come for we will concentrate on uh, pairwise comparisons under this this Taki test, Taki test and Fisher's, Fisher's LSD. These two tests will be, will be discussed. So, let us uh, see the first that each rate data and uh, we have developed the ANOVA model and finally, uh, we computed the residuals like in the first cell 23.8 is the residual, second cell minus 9.2 like this. In this table you see that there are original of y i y value values, there are residuals or error estimated error values and there are run orders within first bracket in which order the experiment was conducted. So, first we will see the plot of run order versus run order, run order versus residuals, run order versus residuals. This plot gives you an idea about independence, whether the observations collected through the experiment are independent or not. See the, see the plot. So, in the left hand side the plot is run order or time or, or the observation order and y axis is residuals, you see the plot shows random pattern, there is no pattern, it is a completely random one. So, if this is the case then it is independent, the observations are independent in nature. You see the right hand side plot where is the predicted value versus residual also this also showing there is no uh, no pattern it is it is purely a random one so this one not only uh, this one gives another bit of uh, another proof for homoscedasticity assumption also there is no pattern in the data there is no funneling right to left okay so, now uh, as, as you have seen that the ANOVA hypothesis is so that mu 1 equal to mu 2 equal to mu a, this is basically null hypothesis, the all means are equal or, or we say tau i equal to 0 that is no treatment effects. An alternative hypothesis is that at mu i not equal to mu j for at least one pair, at least one pair, pair of mu's or alternatively tau i not equal to 0 for at least one i, at least one i. Okay. Suppose ANOVA this test, this ANOVA says that ANOVA through F test, through F test shows that shows that there is significant there is significant difference difference in one or or more pair of means pair of means 
So, ANOVA <coughs> through ANOVA table through F test, what we, uh, we can observe? I, whether th either there will be no difference between pair of means or no treatment effect, or there will be at least one pair of means that is different. So, one or more pair of means will be different. And that means there are uh, there there are one or more uh, treatment effects. Now, if there are a number of treatments, a number of treatments. So what will happen? You can have a c two number of comparisons. Uh, a c two number of comparisons of means basically. So, that means mu 1 suppose 3 a equal to 3 then comparison will be mu 1 versus mu 2, mu 2 versus mu 3 and mu 3 versus mu 1. So, that means 3 pairs of comparison of means there. Why this pairwise comparison is essential? Because of this. So, if there is one or more pairs which are different, then ANOVA that through F test will not tell you that which pairs are different. It will tell you there are one or more pair, pair of means they are different. So, in order to know which pair is different, you require test for this mu 1 versus mu 2, mu 1 versus mu 3 and mu 3 versus mu 1. The question is then why not then independently you test mu 1 versus mu 2, mu 1 versus mu 3 and mu 3 versus mu 1 from the data itself without doing ANOVA beforehand. Then what will happen? What will happen? Your this there will be errors. Error because you cannot test separately this. E here the pairwise comparison will make and will make and that it the error will be adjusted. Okay. So, that is why the special kind of test, this Stuckey's test, Fisher's LSD test will be used. Okay. So, let us see the uh, hypothesis for the pairwise comparison that mu i minus mu j equal to 0 and mu i minus mu j not equal to 0. So, we will we'll, we'll see Stuckey's test and Fisher LSD test. What is Stuckey test? Stuckey test actually first they, there will be a statistic called Q which is known as studentized range statistics which is y bar max minus y bar mean by root over m s e by n. You see all the quantity or right hand side is known to you. What is y bar max? You have a number of treatments. So, the you have a number of means or average here from the experimental data. So, there will be a mean average value which is maximum, there will be another one minimum. So, the difference between maximum of the average and the minimum of the average values for all the A treatments that is the difference divided by M A C. M A C is mean square errors which already you have computed. So, that by N this is a statistic which which basically will be is, is used by Turkey to develop the pairwise comparison test. Okay. So, you see what we have to consider here, we have considered out of a group of p sample means also, p number of sample means. Uh, are. So, then two means are significantly different if the absolute value of their sample different exceeds this. So, there is a threshold value T A which is Q alpha A F root over of this, this quantity. Now, A is the A you all know that the number of treatments and and M A C also known to you and N is also known to you. Now, F is another quantity which which is required to be known and and then uh, the then the 100 into 1 minus alpha percent confidence interval for all pair of means will be 
वाई आई डॉट बार माइनस वाई जे डॉट बार माइनस क्यू अल्फा ए ए रूट ओवर दिस एम दिस सो इफ सैम्पल साइजेस आर नॉट इक्वल देन द अदर फॉर्मूला विल बी यूज ओके नाउ सी द एग्जाम्पल द ग्राउंड क्लाटर एग्जाम्पल सो वाई वन बार y2 bar and y3 bar computed 90 96 99.25 this is computed so then the difference in average that y1 bar minus y2 bar is this y1 bar minus y3 bar is this and y2 bar minus y3 bar is this differences are computed and then from taki test you just find out see what happened what is the threshold value threshold value is q alpha a a root over m a c by n then q 0.05 alpha you have considered 0.05 there are three levels of um, there are three treatment levels and 21 21 is coming from the error degree of freedom okay as i told you you require to know the f value what is a value a value is the error degrees of freedom uh, because for this example there are 24 uh, there 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 are 24 observations 18 to 3 24 observations then uh, to total total degree of freedom is 23 then treatment degree of freedom is 3 minus 1 2 then error degree of freedom is 23 minus 2 equal to 21 which is also f consider you consider here f so if you put this this value this will be 11.12 now you may be interested to know that where pro how do are you getting this q 0.05321 value this value is available from from the chart developed for this taki test okay so there will be there will be there will be table or chart available to you and if you follow montgomery then what you will see is that at the uh, in the appendices that the taki taki test these values are given so what we have done we have basically taken uh, q 0.05320 alpha 2021 that value from the taki that appendix and then this is multiplied and finally you got 11.12 okay now this is the threshold value so if if any pair of any dif a pair differences like y1 bar minus y2 bar y1 y3 this differences that in absolute value they are more than 11.12 then we consider that that pair is different but if you recall Uh, the ANOVA uh, that overall test that there we found that when we consider only ground clutter level levels and there is no difference in the means means ANOVA test itself says there is no difference in means so the pairwise test is not required but we have done the pairwise test in order to uh, show you that even the from the pairwise uh, test also we are finding out that no two pairs are pair of means uh, of are different so no two pairs uh, in every pair that is mu1 mu2 mu2 mu3 and mu3 mu1 no pair showing any significant difference okay so but if you recall the second example where the each rate for the at the four level of are a power factor so what you have found out that that the anova overall test says that there is significant difference in means maybe at least one of the means mean is one of the means is different from the other means that is what we found from the overall f test using uh, for anova now then we were interested to know which pair is different so as in the power example there are four levels treatment levels so how many comparison possible mu1 versus mu2 mu2 versus mu3 
म्यू थ्री वर्सेस म्यू फोर देन म्यू टू वर्सेस म्यू फोर देन म्यू वन वर्सेस वर्सेस म्यू फोर सो म्यू वन म्यू टू म्यू वन म्यू फोर एंड म्यू वन वर्सेस म्यू थ्री देन म्यू टू वर्सेस म्यू थ्री देन म्यू टू वर्सेस म्यू फोर म्यू थ्री वर्सेस वन टू थ्री फोर सिक्स सो दैट मीन फोर सी टू सिक्स पेयर वाइज कंपैरिजन सिक्स पेयर्स यू आर गेटिंग सिक्स पेयर ऑफ मीन डिफरेंसेस सो नाउ सी हियर सो वी फाउंड आउट दैट टी अल्फा वैल्यू व्हिच इज क्यू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव फोर सिक्सटीन एंड दिस वैल्यू इज थर्टी थ्री पॉइंट जीरो नाइन नाउ व्हेन वी कंपेयर ऑल द ऑल द मीन्स यू सी दैट द ऑल द सिक्स पेयर्स दैट वन इज फर्स्ट वन इज माइनस थर्टी सिक्स पॉइंट टू जीरो सेकेंड वन इज माइनस सेवेंटी फोर पॉइंट टू जीरो लाइक दिस सो इफ यू सी द एब्सोलूट वैल्यू फॉर ऑल दिस यू सी दैट नान ऑफ देम आर लेस देन थर्टी थ्री पॉइंट जीरो नाइन ऑल आर मोर देन द थ्रेस होल्ड वैल्यू सो इट सेज दैट देर इज सिग्निफिकेंट डिफरेंस इज इन मीन्स विच इज विच इज प्रूवेन बाई द ओवरऑल टेस्ट From pairwise test also, it is further confirmed. So that means here, interestingly, all the dif mean differences are significant. But there may be situation when you find out that some of the mean differences will be significant and some of the mean differences will not be significant. And in the previous example, we found that all the mean differences are not significant, and here all mean differences are significant, and there will be in between. so some other example may give uh, may give you this kind of uh, results okay so the same test or same thing you can do using fisher least significant difference method lsd stands for least significant difference okay here we <coughs> what is done in this case we use t test which is very popular test and it is known data tables are available so pisar lsd uh, lsd is a, 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 is easier method um, to no to calculate uh, or to test uh, or calculate and to test whether the means pair means are different or not pair wise so you see t0 <coughs> yi bar minus yj dot bar by msc by uh, into this and this is nothing but the basically what you have seen earlier that the different this in confidence interval test we found out the difference between two uh, means uh, two averages uh, and using these statistics we found the uh, confidence interval for two difference between two means and there we, we have also seen this this kind of this is the variability of this okay now then lsd value the threshold value is t alpha by 2 n minus a what is n minus a that is the again error degree gap theorem into this okay and if a your uh, n by is balanced mean the sample sizes are equal then what happen this quantity will become 2 by n so 2 msc by n so if any pair e absolute value of any difference pair any pair is more than the lsd value threshold value then that will that will be uh, that mean that pair is significantly different okay so here again in the cluttered data you find this one you already computed and lsd value 9.17 you see none of the uh, these values uh, in absolute term are more than 9.17 only y1 dot bar uh, and minus y3 dot bar are uh, uh, this this value is Mm, sorry this value is basically close to 9.17 but anyhow as it is less than 9.17 we are saying that is no t, uh, no mean pair of means are different okay and the same will be will be uh, proven and it is also done and we have computed and found that even using fisher lsd also you are finding out that in the power example in the each rate data Case that all the pairs are 
um, pair, pairs are significantly different. Okay. So, <coughs> this is what is pairwise comparison. So, in nutshell, let me tell you that conclude the one way ANOVA part, one way ANOVA. So, what we have done, one way ANOVA mean there will be only one factor such as such as uh, your uh, each rate uh, sorry such such as your power uh, in each rate example e t c h each rate example or your ground clutter ground clutter in case of in case of that radar scope example ok there will be one factor and that factor will be having different levels. So, suppose in general if you say the factor is a so a with with a labels 1 2 like a labels what does it mean by label these are all treatment level for example in case of ground clutter a equal to 3 that is low medium high in case of power that is red data a equal to 4 that is 160 180 200 and 220 watt okay this is the first thing second is that Obviously, you will you, you, you will conduct conduct random experiment complete randomized design. Okay. Then your your ultimate hypothesis is you want to test H0 mu 1 equal to mu 2 dot 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 mu a or you tau y equal to 0 alternatively mu y not equal to mu j or tau y not equal to 0 this is the test and you have ANOVA model with data ANOVA model. So, there will be mean model and there will be uh, the complete model parametric model and mean mod model will be there. So, that means y i j will be mu plus tau i plus epsilon i j or it can be written mu i plus epsilon i j and this epsilon i j is normally distributed with mu sigma square and homo scalars. Okay and obviously sum of tau y equal to 0 and then then there are lot of assumptions assumptions for ANOVA and assumptions are basically that is normality assumptions homoscedasticity assumption independence and identically distributed that assumptions will be there ok. So, those assumptions all must be fulfilled otherwise what will happen the data may be uh, the, the results may may be erroneous, but anyhow ANOVA is uh, robust against normality, but if there is homoscedasticity problem it is better the heteroscedasticity it is difficult ok. So, then what happen you have what you, you partition the you basically partition the data into different components then sum square also total is also partitions into sum square treatment plus sum square error then here the degree of freedom is n my n minus 1 here degree of freedom is a minus 1 plus n minus a then you have developed an over table an over table and from there in the table the sources of variation is important then ssu computed then you computed degree of freedom, then you computed m s, then you computed f, f equal to m s treatment by m s error and if this quantity follows f distribution with a minus 1 and n minus a degrees of freedom, you find out a, a minus 1 and n minus a alpha some threshold value, this is the threshold value. If, if computed like f 0, if computed f is greater than the threshold value threshold value alpha then you are rejecting null hypothesis rejecting h 0. Okay. So, you reject h 0 then once you reject h 0 the pairwise comparison is important once you reject h 0 you are interested to know which pair is different rejection of h 0 rejection of h 0 case gives you which pair which pair is different. So, there you have used Fisher uh, LSD least significant difference and we have used Takis test also Takis test also ok and and uh, 
in addition in the test of uh, assumption some amount of residual plots are there parameters and all those things. So, this is in nutshell the one way ANOVA and now let me acknowledge that this lecture is uh, prepared based on this book Montgomery design and analysis of experiments. Thank you very much.